This is the year, 1777. These desperate men are the survivors of the pirate ship Falcon, wrecked by a typhoon off the coast of Central America. They have but one thought in mind, to get another ship. A ship cannot be obtained without gold. That is why they have come. A dozen years ago, Dargo, their captain, buried a treasure chest in this desolate section of the world. He has sworn that they will find his treasure, purchase another ship, and return to plague the sea. Dargo made a not a mistake. Dargo makes no mistakes. There is a village where it should be nothing. There is no mistake. Dargo, have you got your bearings yet? Well, I'll be as easy as I thought. I took my bearings from three points of position. A lake, a peak, And this rock, a cross with the great saber tree. Fifty paces north, northeast from there is where I buried the chest. The lance of position crosses that building there. Yes, little log. They have built a church over my treasure. We will never get another ship. Not so fast. The foundation of a church does not go down very far, and I dug deep. You think that they did not find your chest, Dargo? Tonight, I will go into the village. And if you discover that they have found your treasure? Then I will destroy them and their village. Disperse the crowd. Should I turn the other cheek, Father? Do not harbor evil in your heart, my boy. Can you take away the memory of the lash? The hatred I hold in my heart? This time I only ask that you be whipped, Manuel. If you should try to see Carlotta again, I shall ask for your life. he catches us together, he'll whip you too. I've already been whipped by the same lash that struck you. I'm leaving here. No, Manuel. No. A whip I could bear, seeing you every day and not being able to touch you or talk to you. I will leave my father's house. Carlotta Luisa Maria Viejo, daughter of Don Pedro the Hidalgo, will leave her father's house to marry Manuel Lazaga, Peon. I love Manuel Lazaga.
I love you. That's why I must leave. If I stay here, I'll be forced to kill your father. I'll never forgive him. As long as he lives, I'll never forgive him. He's only doing what he thinks is right. I'll be back someday. If you're still waiting. <laughs> is it a crime for a merchant to take a kiss from a barmaid? <laughs> From Juanita, kisses are only given, never taken. All right. Juanita, you stop this insanity. You're breaking my ears. <laughs> You're denying yourself unbounded pleasure. Now, if you would, but drop the bottle. Perhaps we shall have more success on the second try. Hmm? You should not have interfered. The man is right. It is no crime to take a kiss from a barmaid. He's a pig. He could have killed you. You were in trouble. If any harm came to you because of me, I would die. Oh, you can't die. You're the only friend I have. Friend is a word we never used to say to each other, Manuel. What causes you more pain? Your bruises or my kisses? I've come to say goodbye, Juanita. So, she has made a card of you, too. You have built this village, and now you're running away. Goodbye, Juanita. You're too good, Manuel. You don't know how to face evil in this world. If it is money you want, I have enough for the two of us. Please don't leave, Manuel. Together we will face them all. Together we'll have everything we want. The way you've made your money, Juanita, can you get what you want? Yes, I'll get it. Use your money to wipe out the last three years of your life. Use your money to stay away from those pigs in the inn. They're my friends. Your friends. But you'd give them up. And the money, too. If only you could be invited to the homes of the respectable. <laughs> what are the respectable to me? They feed on insults, they heap on people like us. I hate them. You've been to the English colonists to establish new trade routes. Then you're here to arrange for supplies. But this seems a poor village hardly able to support itself. How can it supply my ships? Oh, we're poor, yes. But fortunate. Those who deal with us share our fortune. <laughs> it's true. They call us the village of miracles. Ah, yes. The rain that falls from heaven is not water but wine. Hmm? No. No? Well, then at midnight, the mountains spread apart and reveal the festivals of ancient Greece. Oh, you do not understand, Senor. Not that either. 
Well, then underneath your village you found treasure chests buried by fierce pirates' captains. No, senor. No treasure chests. <laughs> Not even one. Well, then why do they call you the village of miracles? Because, senor, whenever there is a famine or a plague, miraculously, ships appear with food and medicines to help us. And they always refuse to accept payment. It is our bell of the miracles. <laughs> I've heard about your miracles. And now I shall make you forget everything except that you are the most beautiful woman in the world. has made a bad impression. Garza again. She said you will let us starve in the palisades. I'm getting information. <laughs> you cannot dig up the treasure chest in this room. Where is Garza now? With the others, outside the church. Wait for them.
What's news, Dargo? The chest has not been found. Listen. Service. Let's give the corpse company on its journey. Wait. What wait? On a matter of a few seconds, we can kill everybody. It might take hours to locate the chest. You say he was buried here. True, true. But the ground has been leveled. The terrain is different. It will take time to find the exact spot. Why can't we kill them all now? Because there's a garrison of 50 soldiers close by. Now we'll wait for the mourners to leave. Then we can dig at our lake. Yes, Father. I have a favor to ask. I have a small piece of land in a hut. If you could dispose of them for me and send me the money when I'm settled somewhere. Of course. But I hope that you would help me lead Juanita back to the fold. No one can lead Juanita, Father. Well, that I know. Do I have your blessing? Certainly. Come, my boy. I'll walk with you to your hut. I'll pray for you each night, my son. Thank you, Father. Everybody dig. Antonio, Gas over there. Little dog, Castro, back here. Enrique, Cisco, in the corner. But the priest will return soon and interfere. That man never interfered. We cannot kill a priest. Look, it's the one from the beach. Forgive me, Father. I have missed the services. You are forgiven. If I light a candle, could it be enough? Yes, Maria. Oh, yes, yes. That will make it right. I will light a candle. Thank you, Father. Thank you. What is it? Only one stone removed in all this time?
What is the trouble, Maria? Ghost is well after me. They tore it to my dress. Here and here and here. Oh, calm yourself, Maria. There are no ghosts. I felt the hot breath on my neck. My word that the ghosts were here. <laughs> Maria is famous for her love of wine. Listen to her. That one talks about me. This is disgusting. You make it impossible for anyone to think. She is the cause of all our misfortunes. First one the fisherman is murdered at the beach. And now ghosts are desecrating our beloved church. Is this the place for such thoughts? Do the teachings of the church mean nothing to you? Captain Ortega! Look! Ghosts do not dig. There has been many strange occurrences today, Captain Ortega. I suggest that you conduct a full investigation in the morning. I agree, Don Pedro. Remove everyone from the church and post the guard. Father Felipe. Has Manuel told you he's going away? Yes, my child. He's even now asleep in his hut. So that he may start with the sun. Can't you stop him? I've tried. Even as I've tried to stop you from traveling your road. Many times I wish the old days would be back. There is no need to change the old ways. New people force new ways in us, Father. When Manuel and I used to play at your feet, there were none to interfere. But it happened, and we change. Except you, Father. You never change. You'll always be good. Really, Father, I do not care what the others think of me. If only you will not take away your affection. That could never happen. You know, Juanita, it's nice to have you back in the church, even under these circumstances. It would be a calamity for Mother Church if I returned to the fold. Why do you say that? Because then you'd lose all your other parishioners. Fine food for a man. Bananas. We are hungry. Must we not eat? The town is full of women and wine. Close your eyes, and it'll taste like red meat and strong wine. I said, I tap the town. Uh, be killed, you forget the garrison of soldiers. Better to die fighting the rock here. You will not rock here. How can you make it if we don't get the ship? I will get a ship, Andres. How? We'll go into the town and get my treasure. Just as soon as I can think of a way to get rid of the soldiers.
what I want you to to do. If only you will love me. No me mates con pistola, ni tampoco con puñal. Mátame con un besito de tus labios de coral. Con el capotín, tin, 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 esta noche no te va. Con el capotín, tin, 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 esta noche aquí te está. No me mates. Con pistola, ni tampoco con puñal. Mátame con. You will suffer for this. You will all be brought to justice. Is that the way to speak to those you have invited to breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> These murderers, I've invited no one to breakfast. <laughs> you were stealing the property of Don Juan Sandoval. <laughs> Sandoval will be very angry. <laughs> Another drink to Don Juan Sandoval. No, no, Dios mío, no more. <laughs> so you've traveled far, senor? Yes. From the hacienda of Don Juan Sandoval, you said? You hear very well, senor. And just where is this hacienda which you claim to be so far away? It is not my claim. It's a fact. Don Juan's hacienda is in the hills. Three hours it took me to arrive at this spot. And he has many men, hmm? Yes. Scurvy dog, you destroyed our means for getting rid of the soldiers. I don't understand, Argo. He's been wasted. While he listened, I could have made plans to attack San Juan Dandoval. But how would that have gotten rid of the soldiers? Madre mia. We would have placed him in the road, so he would have been found. Then he would have told the soldiers of our plans to attack Don Juan Sandoval. And the soldiers would have sprung to the rescue. Understand? Now wait. That corpse is about the same size and shape as Little Dog. <clears throat> please, Darko. Please, please you Darko. You would do nothing to keep us from getting a ship, would you? No. You would do anything for it? Yes. You would die for it? Yes. A small cut, but a convincing one. There lies his wardrobe. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Okay. 
Enrique. You will take the horse and follow the road into the hills. You will ride for about three hours, and then start some fires in the forest. In the village, it will appear that Don Juan's hacienda is on fire. <laughs> You'll get help. Father Felipe! Father Felipe! Another murder! Bandits. Closer to 40. But Don Juan Sandoval has many men. The attack was a surprise. We lost more than half on the first assault. Sound the assembly. Another study. Are you taking away your men? Don Juan Sandoval is under attack, my bandits. Surely you cannot leave this village unprotected. The murder? the strange happenings at the church last night. And now... You must hurry, Captain. Your duty is first to this village. Captain Ortega! young men are in the army. I insist you remain here. I am sorry, Don Pedro. My duty is clear. However, I will leave you a squad of soldiers. We will all be mad in our sleep. Gossiping tongues have murdered more people than bandits. Listen. Listen to the one who has brought the shame of lust to our village. It is you who have shamed our village with your small minds and nagging complaints. Our bad fortune is God's punishment for her evil ways. Evil! Cast her off! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's going to be all right. They will not write me away. They will not. Why do you stay here? Because it will be the same anywhere else. I will not live to please others. That is why they hate me. That is why I will not leave. And because this is her home. Like you, Manuel. She helped build this village. You're right, Juanita. I was running away like a coward. No, Manuel. You're not a coward. I will not face that this is my life. We weren't born for this. You're like me, Manuel. Apart, we must be injured. Together, there's a meaning for us. Yes, Juanita. Together we can make a place for ourselves. If you wish it, Father Felipe will marry us. I wish it. Oh, yes, Manuel. I wish it. I've long awaited this day. Oh. Oh, no, no. You mustn't put it on until your wedding. Oh, no. You're right. It is bad luck. Thank you, Father. Thank you. But, but I must get ready. I'll meet you at the church, Manuel. And, and you too, Father. They are in his house. Well, stay with Father Felipe. You'll be safe with him. Where are you going? There's something I must do. Don't leave me, Manuel. Where's Manuel? He has gone to grow up. give you this village to wear around your neck like a string of pearls. She wants nothing from you. Ah, oh, Father, how much better I understand women than you do. But this one I know since childhood. I must borrow your church for a short time, Father. You may enter our church to pray, and for no other reason. He is the only one that has always shown me kindness. I would do nothing you would dislike, my pigeon. Let us go into the square. Come, Father. Men are dying and calling for supreme unction. That they will receive. Let no one near the bell. <laughs> Oh. 
I have come for what rightly belongs to me. I have no desire to harm you. Is that why our streets are littered with dead? Only those have died who have stood in my way, and any others who stand in my way will also be killed. What is it you want? Under your church floor is a chest containing doubloons, pearls, diamonds, rubies, and other treasures. That chest is mine. Then take it and leave us in peace. I have arranged for your soldiers to be absent long enough so that the church floor can be dug up. You will do the work for us. And if you do not dig fast enough so that my chest can be unearthed before the return of the soldiers, I will burn your village to the ground. You cannot devile our church. To prove my good intentions, Father, you will be overseer of the workers to make sure that the relics and vestments are not injured. Castro, pick out the strongest of the men to dig. The rest of you to your homes and stay off the streets. Vicente, you, Garza, put the weapons in the magazine in the Presidio. Oh, Manuel, Neo, are you all right? Yes, yes, I'm all right. I fear they killed you. No, no. Never, never again will I leave your side. I won't let you. When I stood with you before the priest, I felt never had a woman had such happiness. Please. We want to cause no one pain. We too are tired of pain. They could taunt me and despise me, but never before could they touch my spirit. If you would hate anyone, hate me. I hate her, and she will be made to suffer. She has made me suffer. too good for us. I have never made such claims. They're made for you. The house you live in, the clothes you wear, the food you eat. For the next few hours, my pigeon, all the food in the village is yours, all the clothes. And you can have any house you want. My mother was a servant at her house. Then what is more just but that she serve you in that house? I would die rather than serve you. Miguel. Yes, sir. I've just presented my woman with an hacienda. We will celebrate with food and drink. This one will serve us. church can be easily repaired. But they'll destroy our village and kill our people. The pirate captain said he would harm no one. Leave peaceably when they found the chest. And you will not find the chest. To work! Would anyone crossing our threshold out the Juanita the mistress and you the servant girl. If she is serving, let her serve. I want wine. What do you mean they won't buy the 
the chest. I have it hidden. But what about the treasure? It was used for the good of our people. But when they discover it is I don't know. We must delay them until the soldiers return. But it'll be impossible to delay them that long. The village must rise against the pirates. But they have no weapons. But we're 50 to 1. How can you expect peaceful men to attack armed pirates? True, some will be lost in the attempt. But it's better that a few die bravely than for us to stand by and watch our village be wiped out.
Oh, you take too long. Isn't this made of beautiful crystal, Darko? My mother often told me of the pride with which the Vallejos regarded their crystal. Another glass. Look with what contempt they gaze upon the rest of the world. <laughs> Think of how their souls must twitch in the inferno. At the service to a tower girl. <laughs> Let us think instead of the unfinished business between us. We will have coffee at the fireplace. The chest is not there. It must be. We have gone over every inch of the church floor. And it was found before we came. The men are made with disappointment and are talking of threatening everything. I want every man, woman, and child assembled in the square. I did not give you permission to leave. Without that pirate, you can't keep me here. And in his arms, you're full of contempt for yourself. I pity you, Juanita. Keep your pity. I do not need it. You will not leave this room. It is your village that requires aid, Captain Ortega. My men surprised the pirates heading fires. He was persuaded to tell us his reasons. You have been tricked, Captain Ortega. There are pirates in your village. Vamos! And if you're hoping to hear the bell proclaiming a miracle, you're going to be disappointed. Always before, in time of calamity, the bell is rung and we have been delivered. That's the trouble. Everybody's waiting for the miracle to happen. But there'll be no miracle. The bell cannot ring. The rope is cut. We've got to save ourselves. The soldiers should not have left us. By now, the soldiers must be returning from Don Juan Sandoval's hacienda. If we rise against the pirates, they might get back in time to assist us. And if they do not? Then we can still win, if we don't die of fright first. Senora Martinez. It's always you who makes the most noise about your affection for the village. But I have a greater affection for my husband. I will not send him out to be made a corpse. digging and found nothing. Would 
shall we do? Too late to do anything. joke letting us dig while all the time you knew the chest was not there. You were all here when this village was founded. I've been told you all helped build the church. Someone, or more of you, found the chest. Nobody understands temptation better than I do. If the chest is brought forth, even if a few baubles are missing, we'll laugh about it. Nobody will be injured, and we will depart in peace and good fellowship. Now, the one who discovered the chest will come forward. This may delay him long enough for the soldiers to return. Come, step forth. And I will account you a smart fellow and let bygones be bygones. Nidalgo. If you have any influence with your people, this is the time to use it if you want to save your village. If such a chest had been found, I would have known of it. Very well. If I had more time, I would enjoy this little game. However, I have no time. And remember, you are bringing this upon yourselves. Castro, line up all the men. the chest, Lasaga. When I first came to this village, you were being whipped. Let us see if you still enjoy the lash. You can cut him to ribbons and he won't talk. But there is a sure way. Is it that you hate her so viciously or love him so much? Castro. Unobstructed view.
My dear people, when I found this chest, I thought it was the will of God to be used for the good of our people. Perhaps I was wrong. It has brought this plague upon you. Your homes have been ravished. People have been killed because of me. But I still have faith. <laughs> And no matter what happens, you too must have faith. There was the will of God. Find the village! for the miracle of the bell. They were not miracles that saved you, but your priests who used the pirate's treasure to save you from famine and sickness. <laughs> your priest who lies dead at your feet. For him, his beloved bell cannot sound a requiem. Now they're going to burn his church, the very thing for which he lived. If we let his church die, our souls die with it! Ah! <laughs> 